all right in this video we are going to create this page so what this page does if you see if I click on the photograph you will see some photographs here so if I click on birthday you will see birthday images if I click on no more you will see a pop-up the image and the description you can change the description I just made this very simple as possible now if you click on corporate you will find the images accordingly model images wedding photo shoot now if you click on all products all things will be available now how we are going to add this to add this we have created a custom field called called photography if you see we have already created some photographies which you can see it on this page now let me show you let me add this and show you click on add new so once you cl once you cl click on add new you will see let me create a photograph the client name is UI Monk and the image I'm going to add let me just add my image which is available on my page so desktop now click on save now you'll see what type of Im what type of category it is so this category is available over here so you can select let me just make this model and the location is and the phone number with some random value this is not an actual phone number click on save once you have saved this you will see the changes that gets reflects over here now if you click refresh or if you click on this photography page don't uh, ignore this and you will see the image has shown up now if I click on uh, the model photo shoot you can see the image if I click on no more you will see the pop up and more description so now you can you just have title over here if I click on no more all the extra details is available here now uh, this is what I'm going to show you in this video the very first thing what we need to do is let me just make this short and simple as you are as we are creating custom development I hope you know already how to install WordPress and how to install themes and how to install plugins the very first thing what we need is we need to install a plugin so the plugin name is force so the force will allow us to create custom force type what you see on the sidebar you will see a photography here this is created with custom force type this is a custom force type which is created with force now the plugin which I have used it let me just show you the name so that you don't get confused so this is the pods the pods custom content types and fields created by pods framework team so you just have to install this once you install it you will find on the sidebar the pods admin after installing you need to refresh the page so that the sidebar gets activated uh, the sidebar gets uh, refreshed and you will s you will find the pods link on the sidebar once you click on it you will find you can add new just click on add new so the, f the thing to configure the pod is you just need to note two things if I if I hover on the photography you will see all photography which is a custom post type and you will see the related categories to it so we need to create the category as well just keep that in mind the first thing don't uh, the first thing what we need to do is we need to create a post uh, post type and later we need to create pat categories if you if you first create categories and then create post type then that would that would be a problem I would recommend you to first create a post type let me create let me click on new the post type which I is going to show which I'm going to create is so as I said, as I said, we can create categories as well as post. So let me create a page, custom post type. So we can name it as my portfolio. Since since I have given photography already, I'm just renaming it as portfolio. Portfolio, and this is the plural word. You can make this portfolios. Click on next next step. Fine, we have created it. Now what we need to do is we need to create the categories. Click on add new and once you have added click on create new and now you need to create categories so we just name this as portfolio categories don't worry about the plural its categories IES I'm just saving time now you just need to click on connections now connect our portfolio with the categories so you'll find the photograph is available but I don't find portfolios so let me click on ports uh, admin we can link from categories to post type or post to categories that's not an issue so let me uh, this is the post type you'll see custom page setting click on edit actually we have made a problem it is not a page we need to create first post type let me delete this and create post type so let's create so actually we just missed this step and it will directly jump into this we need to create post type so portfolio not category just portfolio portfolios click on save step next step 
now once we have created click on connections we need to connect with our categories let's see where it is yeah portfolio category click on portfolio category you can see I have already created a photography that's why it's showing up now field let's just create field what are the fields we need the first thing is for, for the name portfolio name which is a plain text and it is required yes next field you can explore the other tab which is which is a straight which is a uh, straightforward thing we don't have to do anything now the second thing is for image for the image you need to select this and uh, if you want you can make this required as of now I'm allowing only single you can allow multiple files as well and the third one is categories now we need to link the category so it's going to be relationship and the relationship type is if you see on the taxonomies you will find the portfolio you just need to link the portfolio yeah it's over here and that's it make this required or else it don't show up in the filter on the relationship tab, relationship tab if you want a single select you can you can have this portfolio on a single category you can have this portfolio in multiple category I can make this in a multiple category for a multiple category there is an input option I need a checkbox on the on the admin on the product add a uh, sorry photographic adding page you will see the checkbox you can have this checkbox or anything you want let's just make this checkbox and click on save field let's just add another thing another location uh, another field which is location it's again it's going to be a plain text we don't have to do anything the save the same thing I'm going to repeat it for the phone as well the one thing the note is not we need to note these names so that's why I have given the unique name so if you see on the names you will find these names let me add final the reason for say the reason for why I say is uh, we need to give unique name it is because I have created a custom page the, this this page is custom created so I have written JavaScript to filter these and use the WordPress query to loop all the uh, post type the post type which is I'll just show you what the post type is post type is and what for category name is now all this is saved click on save ports so once it is saved what you can do is you need to get into the portfolio so this is the post type if you click on this you will get the post type name on the URL you will find the post type so let me just copy it and paste it on the notepad so that we can use it on the query to access the value so you can see on the URL you will see post type as portfolio now the same way for the categories just click on it this is the taxonomy name so the categories comes under the taxonomy in uh, the category the category the tags are under the category of taxonomy it's a structure wordpress structure cool once this is done we need the post type name and the category name and the names of all fields which we have created and uh, once everything is set what we need to do is we need to create a new page we need to create a new page on the current active theme so the current active theme for me is hostify just click on new new file and uh, the page hyphen is important or else you won't able to uh, show it on a page because it's a WordPress uh, WordPress follows this step so for a page it is just page hyphen so we are creating custom page that's why I that's why we need to write page hyphen and you can give any name you want let me just make this portfolio click on enter once this is saved I I'll just leave the code I left I just leave this code for you to re for your reference so that you can just copy paste it and edit it so once it is saved just search for the comment we need to search for the comment I think I have made it somewhere just where the just control F so you can see the template name this is what is going to show up portfolio page or TFOLIO so this page just note this name I'll show you where it will show up and it is very important that you need to give your custom name so that's when you will be able to identify that you this is your custom uh, page so once this is done what we need to do is we just need to get into the I'll just explain you uh, here we have three steps the first step is showing the category so this this main row this is the showing the category this shows the category and 
this the category ends here so this first div shows the category code and uh, this second div is loop is it loops all your data using wp query you can see there's there i have used wp query and this is wp query with the help of wp query i have looped all the uh, post of post type portfolio so in this case it's photography so once this is done what i have done is i have displayed image i have displayed this is the image i have displayed the client name which is the client name and i have displayed the categories which you can see you can't see but it is there it's a, it's there in the browser let me just show you because i have used display none so click on this and you will if, if i untick this you can see by default on page load you the page displays the category name the location and the phone and i have purposely hide it so i have used display none to hide it and if i click on no more you will see the same data the model name the categories the location and phone the categories the location and phone what i do is i have run a java i have created a javascript code if i click on this div it will search for the parent so the parent for this button is the container inside the container i used the javascript code to access these elements and display it on the model so let me just show you so as i said i have made this display none and on this is the model by default the model does not have model does not model body this is the model body center of the body so you click this is the model body the image and the content by default it is blank you can see you can see this is blank and what i have done is i have done the i have created the javascript code and this is this is appending this line is appending these uh display none element into the model you can see model body i am appending it into the model body so this is how the code works this is the summary now we just need to change let me just refresh this so that it gets hidden now we just need to change the names of the post type the categories so yeah, let's just go by start the taxonomy control h the taxonomy is simply this one just replace this the post type control h it simply the portfolio replace this so ca the cat we have added the taxonomy and the portfolio for the first section it is going to work <laughs> well now it's time for the second one so the post type is portfolio yes and uh, here we need to write give the image the portfolio image it's better to replace this control h replace this which then the location we have named this as portfolio location and the client name we have named it as portfolio name and image and the categories we have named this as portfolio category location portfolio location yes phone what else we made yes portfolio phone just replace this so the first this thing is ready just make sure you have used proper names and uh, everything will be automatically changed we don't have to touch anything over here and if i now what we need to do is we need to add the portfolio if i click on add new you just need to let's just create the categories first wedding birthday model and finally corporate so these are ready now we need to add on on the add new button you will be able to add add new so let me just create two products this is only wedding name what we are going to add so here you will see this field right this content you can you can skip this if you click on ports by the by the time let me just fill this location anything phone number anything you can add the file and on the portfolio click on edit 
let's just select yes this one click on publish so now you will find on the advanced option you can untick the editor and click on save part so now you will not find this editor let me just refresh it and show you so the first product is the product similarly add new I think I have not saved it yes it's it's just saving now that's why we could not see the change so now you can see the custom uh, content editor is not there sorry the text editor which we have seen on the previous one let me let me quickly add one more wed no not wedding what day I'm just giving some random name just ignore it we can select the image what day image add any location phone number click on publish so our two custom post type is ready now we need to attach this page portfolio to a page so for that let me just create a page add new I'm going to name this as UI mock I'll just name this portfolio so on the same so over here you find actually it's not saved yet I guess that's why it's still showing up Vishal control O let me just confirm that we are still on the themes folder yeah that's that looks great but it's not control shift yes it has saved it as plain text we want it to be we want this to be a PHP yes it looks like PHP but it's showing as text file okay let me just refresh this and check reload okay if you note that we have not saved it as let me just look at PHP it will find Vishal portfolio so now we just we need to select it that's it after publishing what you will do is you will get this link just click on view we had just two products and uh, the two products will show up it says no post found and on the portfolio let me just we have just made an error or guess all portfolio all portfolio let's just check whether actually we have a portfolio or not yes we have two portfolio but we are not getting that on the code that means there is some error on the code let me just find it this seems to be okay post a portfolio we could see we are we can perfectly pick up the uh, what do you call it we can perfectly pick up the categories list but not the names let me just cross check whether we have properly linked the categories and then we'll check the code okay okay you can see you can see we have not linked anything so it's wedding update and uh, it's birthday update okay there seems to be an error you will see this hasn't changed control H Let me find if I something if I find something new. 